what you see on television is a real accurate portrayal of, of wise guys, the crime that we did, hijack trucks right here in New Jersey. I mean, for years, rob banks, beat people up, break their legs and arms, put them in the hospital. Uh, everything you see, we did. I mean, I lived that life. That's all I did. I was a professional criminal. My name is Salvatore Ubatz Polisi, and I was involved in the New York Mafia. Sal Ubatz, in Italian, that means crazy. Many people who look at organized crime don't pay that much attention to how violent these people are, how bloodthirsty they are. You'd be calm, normal dad during the day, but if somebody crossed them, you'd turn into a box and just take you out. We had the cops on a payroll, so the, cop, the local cops, New York City Police Department, they never bothered us. And across the street is an auto repair shop, and the FBI is in the van there every night trying to listen to what we're doing. There was the Gambino family, which was the largest. Then there was the Colombo family, the Genovese family, the Lucchese family, and the Bonanno family. One family didn't step on the other family's business. You know, I wasn't interested in killing. I didn't care. I want to fight. You see me fight a big guy one time over here right in the street. I'd fight. With the no, I didn't care. He had soldiers. They had families, head of families, they doled out policy. It was sort of a, a cancer on American society. Sal was a bad guy. I mean, you don't hijack trucks um, and pistol whip people if you're a good guy. What you're looking at is the exact spot of the 1972 Silva bullion heist. Look at this, hey, check out the traffic. This is it right here, this is it right here, okay? There you go. Cop was right there. Cop was off duty. Tommy and Foxy immediately jumped out, rushed up into the truck, stuck a sawed-off shotgun and two guns in the front window, the windshield. Sal had been arrested on narcotics charges by the uh, local authorities. I was surrounded by uh, half a dozen uh, drug agents, and I was arrested for uh, dealing of uh, cocaine. Constantly looking for people to flip. A way to get into the, the witness protection program to testify against John Gotti, I mean, everybody here knows that's a bad career move. It was time to sever my life in, in, in organized crime. He saw a better path for himself and for his kids. Let's start to quash this war. Let's end this war of killing each other. I'm here again. Beneath all of that, there was a guy that really did care. Uh, people were not willing to testify against organized crime figures because they would be killed and members of their families could be killed. You then went into hiding. You changed your name. We're not talking about some fiction here. We're talking about lies. Lies that I saw go. And it's terrible that I had to live that and live it again. I'm telling you. I'm a changed person. I don't even want to deal with that stuff. You know about the pain and anguish that you can have when you lose somebody. I mean, we're talking about my family, just like anybody else's family, you love somebody just because they did something wrong. God says you don't have to understand anybody, you don't have to agree with them, all you gotta do in Corinthians 13, it says love, just love your family. Is it dangerous for you to be seen right now knowing these people know you're in Secaucus, New Jersey? Well, if they know it and they're gonna be out there in 20 minutes, we're gonna have an exciting exit here when I leave. I really think that I created this personality who just didn't care. I wanted to be dead. We were taught that being in the mob was an honor. It's not an honor. Now, I take walks with my wife and kids. I pay taxes, and I actually joined America. I've totally, completely forgiven him for what he's done, and I also feel really proud of uh, the, the changes that he has made and the person that he is today. This is a real story, it's not bullshit. Yeah, it's a movie, but it's a real story. And that's what I have to say about it. So Sal, have you ever killed anybody? 